I was a hockey player and hockey is really where the only place I found value in myself and then in, in life it's the only thing I really cared about I really was indifferent about everything else in life everything was suppressed I don't even know if I was feeling I was just numb and cold I spent all my time at an ice hockey rink playing hockey or training so really I trained in a way to make myself cold. I was a self-destructive ice hockey player and through brain education, I discovered self-love. My name is Arthur Liebwitz. I'm from Westchester County and I currently am the assistant manager at the Westchester Body and Brain and the New City Body and Brain Yoga Tai Chi Center. Before brain education, anything could really happen in terms of uh, in a relationship or an event or circumstance, and I would automatically be completely emotional and reactive towards it. If it's with my family, maybe anger or rage can come up. If it's with my future and, and me looking forward, I could be feeling scared and looking for answers. So really depending on the different area of life that we're talking about mentally, Anyway, regardless, just very unstable. Emotionally, I think I've held everything in. I can't remember the uh, time of properly expressing. So from a very young age, I, I was always overreacting with everything. Of course, that's not socially acceptable. So from that point on, when I realized, wow, this probably won't work maybe in high school, I just almost held everything in. And it's like my throat and my chest grow tighter and tighter, like they're going to explode. Everything was suppressed. I don't even know if I was feeling. I was just numb and cold. I spent all my time at an ice hockey rink playing hockey or training. So really, I trained in a way to make myself cold. Like nothing can hurt me. I'm, I'm too hard or cold. But really, it's just ignoring my true nature as a human, having emotions, feeling different things. I was okay physically, but unconsciously self-destructive. I was a hockey player, and hockey is really where the only place I found value in myself, and then in, in life, it's the only thing I really cared about. I really was indifferent about everything else in life. So I just trained relentlessly for hockey, and what that actually led to was overworking my body and tearing um, my groins, both my groins and my abdomen off my pelvic plate, and having a three hour open surgery to repair the damages done. When I tore my abdomen off my pelvic plate, I was 18. So after brain education, mentally, I'm a lot more stable. I don't necessarily follow the compulsions that occur psychologically. I'm more responsive, so I respond to situations rather than compulsively and reacting to everything. So mentally, let's say something sparks up and a situation happens and I wanna act out immediately, compulsively so I'll take a second and just maybe do some deep breathing and be able to respond more appropriately to the situation as compared to following whatever my mind thinks is appropriate in that situation and it's not just sort of the deep breaths taking a moment and pause that's simple it's having the awareness to begin with that I should take a few deep breaths because usually the the gap between something happening and then me reacting and following my mind, however chaotic or negative it may be, is so close that there's no time for me to even think to take a breath. So what brain education has done for me is allowed me to expand my awareness to realize no matter what situation I'm in, I have the choice to take a step back, internally take a step back, not follow whatever chaos may be going on in my mind or different things are coming up and just and choose how to respond appropriately, more maturely. Brain education allowed me to sort of sensitize my, my brain, my body, my heart to feel again, to feel more deeply and to feel all the things maybe I was avoiding that were holding me back. When I stopped avoiding the things that seemed so painful or to allow them to flow out, emotionally I felt much lighter. My entire life felt much lighter and much brighter. Before I could just have a stiff face, stiff body, not reacting to anything, acting like a tough person. But really I'm feeling all of those things, but I'm just completely ignoring. It's like my true self or my inner self, my heart is right here. And I'm just turning and looking the opposite way, like almost daydreaming and ignoring. But when all the, the people are gone and it's just me and myself, I truly know what's going on inside of myself. And I had no tools or resources or help to work on those things. So brain education was that for me. It gave me enough tools so I can look at this inner self that I've been avoiding and 
appropriately address the issues and release a lot of emotional tension and stress. Knowing what I know now, what I would say to my old self is, I would just say it's okay. Whatever you're experiencing is okay. Because mostly I just label everything, I judge everything. I'm like, I shouldn't feel this, this is stupid. I hate this. You made me feel this way. So getting caught up in all that things as compared to just saying, this is okay. My favorite brain education principle is water up, fire down, which is a simple energy principle, which means water goes up to the head. So creating a cool, calm, clear head and then fire in the belly. This struck me and had a big influence on my life because before I was completely unaware and I think my head was always hot. I just walked around like a hothead. So I didn't even, I was completely unaware. And just a simple principle of intellectually understanding it and then to allow the proper healthy flow of energy circulation. And usually when that happens, um, much more calm and much more grounded and much more centered. So I'm able to interact with others and participate in daily life more naturally. I was a self-destructive ice hockey player and through brain education, I discovered self-love.